YouTube. What's good, guys? It's your boy TD, and I'm back again with another video from Fantasy Good Sports, guys. And today's video is going to be on five running backs that you can get off the waiver wire, guys, that you can help you for your waivers in week two, guys. Yes, five running backs. So, guys, with no further ado, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. This is cutting edge content. And go check out my catalog and see how I did week one. You might be surprised. So, guys, let's start. And if you watch the whole video, guys, I got two bonus waiver wire guys for you. Yes, two bonus running backs. So, guys, let's begin. The first running back that you should be picking up off waivers for week two is Dontrell Hillard. Yes, I said what I said. Dontrell Hillard. Guys from the Tennessee Titans. And the reason why I'm picking them up is Derrick Henry. I know it's just week one, but I don't. I picked up Derrick Henry in one league and I regret it. Now, I'm not telling you to get rid of Derrick Henry or uh, trade him or none of that. If I do decide to tell you that, I'll tell you that in the video. I'm just not happy with him. So, me, I'm picking up Dontre Hill. Maybe they don't put that much on Derrick Henry this year, on King Henry. Maybe he designates some of his King ruling to another guy, which is Dontre Hill. Right? Because Dontre Hill is really good in the passing game. He had a touchdown, too. So, I feel like Dontre Hill, guys, is a good guy to be putting on your waivers putting on your team week two and seeing what happened going in the future, right? These guys are just pick up, all these guys, you just don't pick them up and play them right away, right? It doesn't happen that way. You have to wait, pick these guys up and wait a couple of weeks and then move on. It is what it is. So Don Troy Hiller guys could have a good position on the Tennessee Titans. They might even change to a passing scheme. It may be this run game type of thing doesn't work. I'm not saying that King Henry gonna be a dud this year. I'm just saying be careful and pick up uh, Hiller. All right, guys, let's move on to my second guy. And my second guy is from the Pittsburgh Steelers is Jalen Warren. Yes, Jalen Warren from the Pittsburgh Steelers, guys, the backup, the rookie. Now, listen, not to hurt his foot, same foot that bothered him in camp. You got to pick up Jalen Warren. I had a guy tell me, man, you better pick up Jalen Warren ASAP. And he was right. right? I'm not saying that Najee going to miss next week or he's going to be out for a long period of time. But Jalen Warren, you got to have him on your team especially as a waiver wire ad for week two, because you don't know what's going to happen with Najee. Najee might not be able to contain or, or hold that position most of the year, right? So Jalen Warren is a good backup plan. He's just the guy that you're picking up off waivers. So guys, let's move on. The next guy, and this don't sound great, but I got to give him credit. He had 19 carries. I don't think he's going to go it all year. I'm not saying to get rid of the, the guy that's starting or the guy that we thought was going to be the guy, and it's Rex Burkhead from the Houston, Texas. I'm not saying Damian Pierce is not going to be anything. But Red Spurker got 19 carries. So I got to, as a content creator, I got to put him on this video or I, I could get canceled. I said what I said. I could get canceled if I don't put this guy on the video, guys. So Red Spurker got 19 carries. Any, or 19 carries. Not, not 19 carries, but 19 touches. Uh, Damien only had like 14. So I'm just got Rex on there. I don't think Rex is going to be great or anything. I think he's just a good, solid guy that can block. And I think Damon's going to grow into this role, but I got to put Rex Burkhead on this video as in week two because of what he did, getting 19 touches. Okay, guys, let's move on. The next guy, guys, is Rex, uh, I'm sorry, not Rex Burkhead, but Jamal Williams, guys. My next guy is Jamal Williams from the Detroit Lions. And the reason why I'm high on Rick, uh, Jamal Williams, guys, is because he's going to get goal line touches, but it's not going to hurt DeAndre Swift. So you can play both of these guys if you just pick up Jamal Williams to keep somebody else from getting them. If you got DeAndre Swift, you need to go after Jamal Williams this week. I'm not saying spend all your fab or waste the waiver wire priority on him. But if you want to, I think you'll be fine. So you want to get this guy because if something happened to DeAndre Swift, you got Jamal Williams. And you should already kind of head that handcuff, but it is what it is, right? So, guys, make sure you pick up Jamal Williams because this guy's going to get all goal line carries and make it so bad. It doesn't hurt DeAndre Swift. DeAndre Swift is like, I run a 90-yard touch, I mean a 90-yard run, and I let Jamal get the 10 yards. That's how DeAndre Swift, that's what they own in Detroit. So Jamal Williams guys are gonna get goal line opportunities every game. Now, as the season go on in the playoffs, they might stick to DeAndre. But right now, early, the first seven, eight weeks, Jamal Williams gonna get those carries because they want to save DeAndre Swift for the playoffs going into like week 13, 14. And fantasy playoffs is gonna be good, but basically for the NFL playoffs. This team believes they can make the playoffs this year. So, guys, let's move on. The next guy that you should be picking up off Kansas City, guys, as a uh, waiver wire you pick up this week is Isaiah Pacheco. Yes, Isaiah Pacheco, guys. Anything happen to Clyde, you got an RB2. Easy. Now, I'm not saying Clyde ain't going to be good this year because he looks solid this week. And I think this team got so many guys that they can give the ball to. Everybody going to have, everybody going to be able to eat. But if anything happens to Clyde, CEH, Isaiah Pacheco is going to come on this team and have a really good role. And he looked good uh, this week. 
So guys, I'm telling you, I mean, last week, he looks, he looked really good. So guys, make sure you be picking up Isaiah Pacheco, just if anything happened to CEH, because you know you want to, this is one of the best offenses in the league, and you want to get guys on that type of team, right? Great offenses. So guys, I got two bonus guys. So thank you for watching the whole video, guys. I appreciate you. Now, the first guy that's a bonus guy that you should be picking up off your waivers in week two is Michael Carter. Now listen, he's not on everybody's waivers. Some people in deep leagues got him. But guys, people was on Breach Hall all year. And I'm not talking, this is not a video to talk about how I was right. But I told you, I don't care nothing about no Breach Hall or anything. Michael Carter is the guy, and he showed you that he needs to catch passes. He's like a, a Austin Eckler on the Jets. He's not going to get all the carries, but nobody's going to take his role because he does his role so well. He's one of, he's elite at his role, catching passes and also getting a couple carries here and there. He's a lead at it, guys. So make sure you pick up Michael Carter. I told you already all year. So you should already have Michael Carter if you watch my videos and you listen to Fantasy Good Sports. Me, guys like Pretty Richie, Big Mac, guys that come on my channel and talk about these type of guys. So guys, let's move on to my final guy. And my final guy is from the Chicago Bears to Khalil Herbert. David Montgomery. Uh-oh! David Montgomery. Uh-oh! He's done for. Now, he, listen, he might get a couple more, you know, being 15 carry, 20 carry guy, but Khalil Herbert is going to take this role eventually. So you want to have Khalil Herbert, guys. You want to be picking him up because that's the guy that's going to be getting the most of these carries. They know he's better. David Montgomery, they're just playing him out into his contract up. That's why they didn't give him a fifth-year deal on his rookie contract. It is what it is. Well, actually, I don't think he get that because he was a second-round pick, right? So either way, guys, Clear Herbert's going to take over this backfield. So you be, make sure you be picking up Clear Herbert. So, guys, thank you for tuning in Fantasy Good Sports. I'm not going to hold you up. Guys, make sure you smash the thumbs up button and subscribe to this channel. This is Cutting Edge uh, content, guys. Also, guys, go sign up for my OnlyFans so you can get guys like that I talked about. Isaiah Pacheco, uh, Michael Carter, Khalil Herbert, um, and Jamal Williams. Guys, I talked about all these guys all year long. That's why you need to sign up for my OnlyFans. That way you are already cutting edge. You are already ahead of the curve. So, guys, make sure you pick these guys up. Peace!